All right, now here go another crazy one right here, the Lulu. All right, so it says, man, living in fear after his ex was released on bond after attempting to K-I-L-L him, shot him till she ran out of bullets. She had a motive, and she really wanted this man gone. For what reason? Give me a second. Give me a second. I got to let this ad go past. All right, all right, let's get to it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. See what they're talking about. New at 10, a man is out of the hospital and recovering after he says his ex-girlfriend tried to kill him. Here's the deal. It is a miracle he survived. Because <laughs> check out, check out, check out uh, this male news reporter's face. His facial expressions just kill me. Check him out. New at 10, a man is out of the hospital and recovering after he says his ex-girlfriend tried like a cartoon character, man. Tried to kill him. Here's the deal. It is a miracle he survived because he says she shot him several times, firing until she ran out of bullets. Yeah. Tonight, he's still worried because his ex just posted bond. Anayeli Ruiz joins us live now. And Anayeli, the victim is worried she'll come after him again. That's right, Elvis Munoz is still recovering from surgeries to his hands, intestines, and lungs. And now he says his worries obviously are not just concerned about him, but those around him. So it's a little hard. So. Elvis Munoz is sharing his story, revealing the wounds he says his ex-girlfriend Alexis Pinto left behind when she shot him. He says she tried to kill him. I mean, to take care of somebody and love them as so much for three years and for them to pay you with bullets <laughs> try to take your life he says he didn't realize it at first but he was in an abusive relationship Munoz says his girlfriend was jealous controlling and isolated him from his loved ones it wow. all came to a head on September 5th when she took him to a wooded area near mm. 88 and airport boulevard supposedly to watch the sunset Instead, she allegedly opened wow. fire. That's when I felt my left hand get hit. Like, I just felt my hand get hot. And I was running, holding my chest and stomach. He says she aimed the gun. Look at this platypus face having ass be. What you doing looking like? Oh, this trout for be stand on what you stood on. Don't be up in there with no mug shot like that. No, stand on what you stood on, Pinto. The hell is wrong with you sitting there weak? Now you you going down, so you might want to toughen it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toughen them tears up, baby, because you're gonna need to. It's gonna be a whole lot of knuckling up going on where you headed. Gun directly at his face. Fortunately, he moved. Look at them eyebrows. That shit ugly. Just in ugly time, and the bullet grazed him. I just threw my hand like this. Oh. Damn. And I moved my head. And it went in. After emptying her gun, El says he convinced Alexis Pinto to get help. She called her father and drove him to a gas station where help finally arrived. Hold on, say Multiple what? surgeries later, station to get help. And it went in. After emptying her gun, Elvis Munoz says he convinced Alexis Pinto to get help. It's a wonder she didn't leave his ass for dead. It's a wonder. She called her father and drove him to a gas station where help finally arrived. Multiple surgeries later, Elvis, once a mechanic, is now disabled with limited movement in his hands. I took several shots. I fought for my life for hours. But just yesterday, the same day he was getting a bullet removed from his back, Alexis's bond was reduced from seventy-five thousand to ten thousand dollars. He's now scared, what? not just for himself, but for the family that is caring for him. I am furious that the system is not doing their part because someone stated that she has a mental illness. Now Alexis mm -hmm. Esquito is out on bond, and Elvis Munoz says he's living in fear. She might want to come back and do something. He's down. 
That's crazy. Again, Alexis Pinto has uh, been released uh, from jail. She has to follow several bond conditions, including wearing an ankle monitor. Reporting live, Ana Yeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. This happened in Texas? Where did they say this happened in? New at 10, a man is out of the hospital and recovering after he says his ex-girlfriend tried to kill him. Here's the deal. It is a miracle he survived because he says she shot him several times, firing until she ran out of bullets. Tonight, he still worried. And Aniele, the victim is worried. Worried. Because us live now. And Aniele, the victim is worried she'll come after him again. That's right, Elvis Munoz is still recovering from surgeries to his hands and has his worries obviously around him. So his girlfriend had to kill him. I mean to take care. Did they say where this happened at? Did anybody for catch this? Three years and for them to pay you with bullets. <laughs> Try to take your life. He says he didn't realize it at first, but he was in an abusive relationship. Munoz says his girlfriend was jealous, controlling and isolating. How you not know you're in an abusive relationship? Did she not put her hands on you? Was it verbal? Is that what it was? Him from his loved ones. It all came to a head on September 5th when she took him to a wooded area near 288 and Airport Boulevard. Where is this at? Supposedly to watch the sunset. Instead, she allegedly I, I arrived, reduced from... Let me see. I'm trying to figure out where this was, man. I don't think they stated it at all. If they did, I would like somebody to put it in the comment section if you heard. Houston. KHOU. I knew it. I knew KHOU was in Houston, but I didn't know if it actually happened in Houston or not. That's why I said this did this happen in Texas after they said KHOU. Alright, 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 bet, bet, bet. That's wild news right there, man. It's wild business. It is wild, wild business. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah man. They reduced this lady's bun from whatever they had in it to ten thousand dollars. That's crazy. All because somebody mentioned, made a mention of her having a mental illness. I don't think that was the case, and I don't think that would have been the case if the roles were reversed. I feel like his ass wouldn't have got it reduced down to no damn ten thousand mm dollars. -mm.